Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make felted ball garland. Making needle felt ball garland is really fun and easy to do. All you need is a few tools and some fiber. The reason I wanted to do it is I remember sometime in the past, I saw a picture of it. Maybe it was as I was scrolling through Instagram and I put that in my memory and I thought I'm gonna make that someday. And the reason I wanted it, every time we celebrate a birthday at our house, we decorate the light over the table by draping something fun. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to do it with needle felted balls? Also, I can just use it for a little decoration around here, something like that. So if you were to make it, there's all kinds of things you can make it for. For a holiday, decorated dorm room, anything you want. Fun needle felted ball garland. The tools you need are very basic. You need needle. There are three needles in this needle, in the casing. I got this from Amazon. It's always good to have needle replacements standing by in case you break them. You need a needle felting mat, which I've got these at Paradise Fibers. You also need fiber. So if you're a fiber artist, you may have fiber lying around. If you don't, Paradise Fibers is great for getting bags of fiber at a variety of colors. So that's what I did last summer. So you can see all these different fun colors in here. I think I bought three or four bags of fiber because I knew I was gonna be doing some felting projects. So you do need fiber. You can also use your own. Like I always save a little bit of roving left over from projects for this reason. You also need for the center of your balls, take your least favorite fiber Mind you, this is all wool. Take your least favorite wool. This one's kind of just scratchy and I don't know. <laughs> it's the one that I wanna use, okay, that I don't mind using for the center of the ball that will never be seen. Once you have your needle felted balls ready to go, you're gonna need some string, or here I have some crochet thread. You need a large darning needle and a little pair of scissors is helpful. And that is all that you need. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it. You start with your raw wool and just kind of shape it into a ball and start needle felting away. And you're gonna do this for a while. As you're needle felting it, you can feel the ball start to become more dense and it's sticking together because the fibers are getting needle felted together. Just keep going around until you have a ball the size that you want. And in the beginning, I made a ball to be my prototype so that I gauge all the balls around it and they don't come out perfect, but it's okay. You just need to have them all similar. So then every time I make a ball, I just gauge it against that. And as you go, it's gonna keep getting more needle felted and more compact. So I do make my center ball, the white part here. It's okay if, a if it's a little bit smaller than the other balls because there's gonna be color added to it. The wool is now in the nice shape of a ball and it's been needle felted quite a bit. Sometimes I go over it and just look for any really loose areas Give them a few more jabs. All right, now it's fun because we're gonna add the color. So I've got some of this really nice fiber and just kind of lay it over and just start needle felting it in. And it doesn't matter if it gets a little bunched in some places because you're just gonna keep needle felting it and go over it a few times until you get full coverage of color. So I just keep working the loose fiber over the ball and then needle felting it in here. So 
So I have the fiber on there. I don't see any more white. And now I'm just kind of going over it to get it in the shape of a ball. And if I see any lumpy areas to work them in. As you can see, it's a really fun, easygoing project. Now in the beginning, if you know how long you want your garland to be, you can measure that and then make the balls accordingly for how much you want to space them across that span that you're gonna make. I'm a little less organized. I just wanted to make a bunch of balls and then thread them up. And if I need it a little longer, I'll make some more balls. So I laid them out so I had colors spaced the way I wanted. And now we're gonna thread them up. So you need your darning needle and your string or my crochet thread that I have here. I've got a ruler because I wanna space them four inches apart. And now we're gonna to go to town. All right, here's the super fun part. You just wanna take your needle and stick it right through the center of the ball. If your ball is dense enough, it's not gonna slide around on your crochet thread. If you have a problem that it's not dense enough, then you can go ahead and tie a knot on either side to hold your ball in place. But as you can see, mine is definitely dense enough. It's not going anywhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get them all on the thread. So there you have it. There's the felted ball garland. So like I said, if your balls start to slide, make a knot on either end also, like I see some of mine look a little halo-y, I'm gonna needle felt them just a little bit more. And another thing is if you decide that you want your garland to be longer, just take your end, which by the way, I left a foot at either end so that I can tie it to something when I want to hang it up. But if you ever just wanna add on to your garland, you can do the magic knot that is hardly seen and carry on, add more balls and make your garland longer. All right, if you do this project, I hope you had as much fun as I did. Happy needle felting, and thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this programming, I invite you to become a Patreon member. Patreon is the modern day way that creators get paid for creating the content that they do. So if you go to my website, rehashfiber.com, there's a supporting member section, and there you can sign up for as little as $3 a month. It really helps with all the time and products and fees involved with creating the show. And as a little thank you for the new members, I will send you a one inch pin with my logo on it. And that is within the US only. And then there's a few other ways I say thanks. If I have extra supplies, I will list them on there and just give them away to the first person that responds that they would like it. And I do ask that person to pay for the shipping and that is within the US only as well. The other thing I do is if I come across interesting things, patterns, discounts on things, I will post it there so the Patreon members can be informed of that information. Also, I travel for fiber experiences. So when I do a fiber trip, I will go ahead and share that itinerary with you so that if you travel to those places, you know the really cool fiber things to see and do. So, Thank you for that. Also on my website is merchandise with my logo. And I'm gonna be adding some more merchandise real soon with a variety of things on it. But right now there's different varieties on my logo. So by purchasing that, you're also helping keeping the show going. So I thank you very much for watching and happy fiber art.